This video is the first of three videos about some interesting geometric properties of triangles that can be discovered by toying around with power system math. The three facts are not directly related, but they all share connections to triangles and symmetrical components in particular. I want to be clear up front that this video is for electric power engineers familiar with phasor analysis and symmetrical components. If it helps, I put a link in the description to my previous review on symmetrical components for a refresher on that topic. I can't begin without mentioning the law of cosines, which allows you to find the third side of a triangle if you know the other two sides and the opposing angle. This equation allowed me to discover many of the facts I'll be presenting in this video. In this scene, I'd like you to pay close attention to the angles of the ABC phasors and the angle and magnitudes of the zero and negative sequence components. Note that in the various examples shown here, the ABC phasor angles always have exactly 120 degrees separation when V0 and V2 have the same magnitude and angle with respect to V1. Now I'll show you exactly how this is happening. Consider the system shown here where the ABC phasors are separated by 120 degrees. On the bottom now are the associated symmetrical component phasors and transformation matrix. Multiplying the ABC phasors into the matrix gives the result shown. The positive sequence vector has no complex angle, but the V0 and V2 vectors do have complex angles that get rotated differently. To get a better look at these 120 degree rotations, I'll convert my phasors into real and imaginary values and then after doing a little rearranging, I can isolate the imaginary value in the equation. After doing this, the V0 and V2 phasors show the same terms for their real and imaginary components, which means they have the same magnitude. But the imaginary terms have opposite signs, which makes them mirror each other on either side of the positive sequence phasor. The zero and negative sequence phasors having equal magnitudes but opposite angles with respect to V1 is the necessary condition for the ABC phasors to have 120 degree separation. When the neutral sits at the point that makes all the phasor angles equal, it has a special geometric location. To understand this special point, first erect external triangles off the sides, and then draw lines connecting the outer points of those triangles to the original ABC phase points. The three lines coincide at the neutral. The same intersection also occurs if circles are drawn around the outer triangles. This point is known as the Fermat point, first discovered in the 1600s by a very famous mathematician named Pierre Fermat. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, feel free to hit the like button below or hit subscribe to see future videos on power system topics.